that we will find uh, in India, in the history of India, Mahabharata, greater India, that many people, they are engaged in tapasā. Uh, a part of life must be engaged for tapasā. Uh, the Bharat Maharaj, Bharat Maharaj, under whose name this planet is called Bharatvarsha, so you'll find in the fifth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam his life. He enjoyed his kingdom. Then voluntarily he left after the end of his material way of life. He divided the property to his sons and left. And he was living alone at Pulahasram near Haridda and undergoing uh, severe tapasya, that is human life, to accept tapasya. Uh, tapo dibbaṁ putra-kājena suddheta satya jasmād brahma saukham ananta You are searching after happiness, but why don't you see that in this material life your happiness is conditioned? That is not easily going or flowing. There are so many conditions. Uh, if you have to become a millionaire, before becoming a millionaire, there are so many conditions. Uh, <coughs> so uh, this is not happiness. After going through so many conditions and which we get, that is also not for good. Uh, so to come to the so-called conditional happiness, we have to undergo so many difficulties. And when we come to that position, suppose after working very, very hard, I get one million dollars. <clears throat> so I will not be allowed to enjoy this one million dollars for all the days. Asāsatam, dukkhālam, asāsatam, Krishna says that this place is full of miseries. To get that one million dollars, you have to undergo so many miserable conditions of life. <coughs> and even if you get it, perhaps you may not get it. Everyone is trying, but they can't. everyone is not getting. Who is destined to get, he is getting. Not that everyone, because he, one is trying very hard, it is guaranteed that he will get one million dollars. That is not possible. <coughs> They are one who is to get by destiny. Uh, this is the śāstra. Actually, this is the fact. Therefore, Vedic civilization does not recommend that you waste your valuable life simply for so-called happiness or economic improvement of economic condition. Uh, <coughs> because it is not possible that everyone trying for improving economic condition and everyone is becoming millionaire. No, that is not possible. You cannot get more or less what you are destined to get. Otherwise everyone would have been millionaires. Everyone in Bombay there are so many people are trying, working very hard and day and night. Still somebody is living in a very nice palatial building and somebody is living in the Jappar or Saudi that most abominable condition in Bombay city. Why? Uh, because he, one is destined. Therefore Shastra says that don't bother about this thing. Tasyvahita prajati ta kovida nalabhati jad brahmatāma parjata. For that reason one should walk, uh, which is not obtainable uh, by wondering brahmatāṁ upari adha, uparjata. Uh, what is that? That thing is that uh, <coughs> purifying your existence. That's why for that reason. Uh, purifying means, as you have discussed many slokas, we are now covered by this material nature, satakun, rajagun, tamagun, <coughs> and uh, our endeavor should be how to purify. Uh, Tapodibhaṁ, tapodibhaṁ putraka jīnas 
Suddheta Satta. Just to purify our existence. And as soon as we purify our existence, that of Brahma Sukha Manantam. Brahma Sukha. Brahma means the largest or eternal. Yet the Sukha or happiness is not Brahma Sukha. That is material Sukha. <coughs> Therefore, in another place it is said, Ramante Jogina Anante. The yogis, those who are yogis, yogi means, especially means bhakti yogi, they also enjoy ramante yogino anante, that is unlimited enjoyment, without any stop. Anandamudi bardhanam, simply increasing, increasing. There is no decrease. That is called uh, <coughs> ananta. It is in, increasing. Just like Krishna, Krishna and the gopis, they are also in pleasure. Gopis are expansion of Krishna's pleasure potency. So they are increasing their pleasure. There is no decrease. Uh, <coughs> in the material world, there is no question of increasing, it is decreasing. Uh, that is the difference. <laughs> Therefore, those who are yogis, they are also enjoying. Ramante yogina anante satyanande, that is real happiness, which increases. Uh, which decreases, that is not real happiness. That is illusion. Ramante yogina anante satyanande chidatmana. Chit, that is spiritual. Uh, spiritual ananda. Really, we want ananda. <coughs> happiness, blissfulness, that is our natural instinct, ānandamaya abhyāsā. So, but we are searching after ānanda in this material world, and that is described here, that saṃsiti mandha pāra-tantra, under material condition, and changing this body one after another, this is not ānanda. <coughs> Satyānanda chidātmani. Ānanda is available on the spiritual platform. Satyananda Chidatmani, Ramante iti Rama Padayanasu, Parabrahma iti Abhidhyate. Therefore, the yogis, they enjoy Raman in the spiritual world. That, that Ananda is called Rama, Hare Nama, Hare Krishna. Krishna is also attractive. And Rama is enjoying. So, so when we Dovetail our activities with Rama and Krishna, then our life becomes happy. Before that, there is sanksiti. Therefore, in order to understand the science, one has to go, that is the Vedic injunction, tadvigyanartham sa guru meva One should approach a proper bona fide spiritual master. And the spiritual master will save him from this blazing fire of repetition of birth and death. Therefore, Krishna Chakravati Thakur sings, Sangsara dhāma nalalīra lokha trānāya kārinna ghanāghanattam prāpta shakalyāna gunānavasya bandhi gurasri charnāra. It is the business of the guru to deliver this disciple, shishya, from this blazing fire of Sangsha, Sangsiti, Bandha, conditional life, to save him from that position and giving the eternal happiness. Brahma Sokham Anantam. Thank you very much.